hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl grace D. i hope you guys are doing amazing i'm doing great here in nairobi kenya the pride of africa the home of safaris and the jewel of east africa thank you so much for subscribing to this channel thank you so much for always supporting my content to the new subscribers feel so much welcomed to this channel don't forget to leave a like comment and share and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this channel please consider smashing that subscribe button also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so every time that we are premiering a video or we posting a new video you always be notified and never miss out so on today's episode we're going to tour a bit of nairobi city for those of you who don't know nairobi nairobi is kenyan's capital city in addition to its urban core the city has a nairobi national park the only capital city in the whole world with a national park in the city yeah you had that right a large game reserve known for breeding endangered black rhinos and home to giraffes zebras and lions next to it is a well-regarded elephant orphanage operated by the david sheldrick wildlife trust Nairobi is also often used as a jumping off point for safari trips elsewhere in Kenya. That's why I say Nairobi is a home of safaris. We have so many animal reserves that, you know, people go for safaris. We have Masai Mara, we have Savo and many more. Nairobi is the largest city in Kenya, the name Nairobi being derived from the Maasai phrase Enkare Nairobi, which translates to place of cool waters, a reference to the Nairobi River which flows through the city. According to the last census that we had in Nairobi, that was in back in 2019, four years ago, the population was 4,397,000 and 73 i'm sure within these four years the population has gone up who knows by how many of kids or people that have moved to nairobi kids or babies that have been born we don't know until we wait for the next census <music> Most people refer Nairobi as the green city in the sun and that's one thing that I've realized. I've seen so many YouTubers visiting Nairobi city and everyone is falling in love with my city. That makes me a proud Kenyan. If you ever visited Nairobi, please tell me on the comment section how was your experience from how you got treated by people, our transportation, our network. like everything that you know you enjoyed and everything that kind of disappointed you i want to know on the comment section and if you're planning to visit nairobi make sure to follow me and learn much more about this city
Nairobi was founded in the 1899 by colonial authorities in British East Africa as a rail depot on the Uganda-Kenya Railway. The town quickly grew to replace Mombasa as the capital of Kenya back in 1907. I know most of you that are watching me, even some people from Kenya, didn't know that the first capital city we had of Kenya was Mombasa, the coastal region. But, you know, due to the cool vibe of Nairobi, the growth, the development, it got to replace Mombasa and you know, became the capital city of Kenya till to date since 1907 till the year 2023. Nairobi is still the capital of city of Kenya and still forever remain the capital city of Kenya because I don't see any city in Kenya that's going to take over our beautiful Nairobi. Nairobi is home of the Kenyan parliament buildings and hosts thousands of Kenyan businesses and over a thousand major international companies and organizations, including the United Nations Environment, that is the UN. The city is established as the hub for business and culture. The Nairobi Security Exchange, the NSC, is one of the largest in Africa and the second oldest exchange on the continent. It's Africa fourth largest exchange in terms of trading volume capable of making 10 million trades a day. Nairobi has several parks and open spaces, one of the most famous park being Uhuru Park. We also have Central Park which, which is just adjacent to Uhuru Park. We also have Jivanji Gardens, we have City Park, we have 7th August Memorial Park and Nairobi Arboretum. When in Nairobi, also make sure to check the KICC, which is in the city center and was also ranked as one of the top places to hold conferences on the continent. It's a 35 story building. When you are at the rooftop, you get to have nice views of Nairobi city, some part of Kilimani neighborhood and also some parts of Westlands. You can have a nice 360 view when you up there i'm sure you can see it's just in front of us that is the kicc one of the tallest buildings that we have in nairobi city <music> So far, tell me what you think about my city, Nairobi city. Tell me what you think about our buildings, our roads. Tell me if you think Nairobi city is clean from this video, from what you've just seen. And of course, if you've visited Nairobi before, you already know how the city looks like. So tell me what or how was your experience when you visited Nairobi? If you're planning to visit Nairobi, make sure to follow me and get to learn more of you know nairobi city and other parts of kenya that you should check out when you visit the city places that you can get to get airbnbs nice places to live way of you know commuting from where you're staying to the city or wherever you want to check out when you are in nairobi city 
you can reach me out on my instagram at grace underscore daniels 254 or you can write me on my email at grace daniels at gmail.com let's link up let's connect and let me show you around my city and let me guide you on how to go about nairobi city this is gonna be the end of our today's episode don't forget to leave a like if you haven't please like right now if you haven't yet liked the video also don't forget to leave a comment down below share the video with your friends and loved ones and people that you maybe are looking forward to visit nairobi thank you so much for watching this episode see you on the next episode thank you for the love and support subscribe if you haven't and let's see each other on the next episode to my premier gang i really appreciate the love and support you guys being here every single day that i'm premiering i don't take any of it for granted and also for people who watch the video after the premiere of course i really appreciate you all so see you guys mm -hmm.